Hello and welcome to Minecraft on the Surface Book. The first thing we're going to take a look at is to see if the Surface Book can play Minecraft. And the answer to that is yes, of course it can play Minecraft. It's a fairly little game. If you couldn't play it, you it would be kind of surprising. So let's get we have that out of the out of the way. So let's take a look and see what kind of performance we can expect. So I've loaded this up under the integrated graphics chip first, so you can kind of see what the performance is like. And then we spawned in this wooded area, which is good for testing performance, because that's kind of the, the most difficult place for it to render. So you can see we're getting you know, pretty good frame rates, uh, 36, 37 frames per second. And this is at total stock settings. Uh, I haven't touched anything. So uh, you can see we are using the Intel graphics right here. And right off the bat, no optimizations, 35 to 37 frames per second is pretty good. So let's go ahead and quit out and actually run it with the high performance NVIDIA processor and see how that compares. So we went from the integrated graphics running about you know 45 frames a second and um, we'll see, or sorry, th 35 frames a second and see how well now the NVIDIA graphics do. So loading the same world and checking out the same location. You can see it is a little bit quicker. Uh, it's running about 40 frames a second. So it's it's doing a little bit better job of rendering but it's pretty close and I think the reason behind that is is the NVIDIA graphics has only one gigabyte of RAM so when you get into these super high resolutions it really bogs down so no matter which version of the Surface Book you have either one with the integrated graphics or if you get the NVIDIA discrete graphics you'll be able to play Minecraft just fine so let's go ahead and see what we can do in terms of optimizing. So if I load up this same game, except this time use Optifine, which is a performance increasing mod that many of you are familiar with and would want to use. So let's go ahead and see how well it performs using that mod in both integrated graphics and also the discrete graphics. So here we go. Uh, with integrated graphics, not noticing too big of a change there. Uh, still around 35 to, you know, 30, 35 frames a second ish. Um, so, but you can go in and, and change the the rendering distance and things like that. Um, you can turn fog off and on. You can kind of do whatever you want to do to help you increase performance. Um, but let's quit out and see how well the NVIDIA graphics do. So we're going to run it with the high performance NVIDIA graphics using Optifine. Still, still about the same in terms of frames per second. Native resolution is pretty, pretty high on this machine. So to be running 40 frames per second at this resolution is actually quite good. You can of course optimize things if you turned your render distance down and turn smooth lighting to a minimum. Uh, you could also go into here and turn fast math on and you know do you, I mean you could do a whole bunch of different things to, to boost your performance uh, but you know 44 frames a second is totally playable and the second that you resize this like say you just had your resolution set to something like you know something close to 1080p you can see we're now running at 70 frames a second. Super easy. So, uh, perfectly playable. Uh, you can tweak it to get all the optimization you want. 
native resolution is pretty pretty difficult for it to run um, in fact let's go ahead and bump it up to like worst case scenario worst case scenario we have a render distance up to you know the extreme and you can see we'll turn our smooth lighting to maximum um, that's that's pretty intensive you wouldn't necessarily want to play with at those settings but it actually is doing <laughs> quite well so uh, it's kind of jumping around but really plays Minecraft quite well so no worries there alright thanks for watching we'll cover more games and see how well the surface book handles them on both the integrated graphics but also the NVIDIA graphics and keep watching